the 2012 MacBook Pro rumors. Now this video is gonna center more around hardware than it does software. So let's get started with Retina display. In front of you, you see 11 Air, 13 Air, 13 Pro, and the 15 Pro. And I'm just going to show you guys what their current resolution and the rumored resolution. As you can see, on the 13 and the 11 Air, nobody really knows exactly what the Retina resolution is going to be, though it is going to be high, <laughs> just like it is for the 13 Pro and the 15 Pro. As you can see, the 13 Pro jumps from 1280 by 800 all the way to 2560 by 1600. That's a crazy resolution and even crazier is for that 15 Pro. Now, as you can see, there's this 1680 by 1050 right here. Um, what does that mean? Well, there's actually a built to order option that you can get on these 15 Pros where some people would say if you spend that extra hundred dollars that that screen is actually retina display technically. But I don't see Apple giving two options of Retina displays for the 15 Pros, which kind of sucks. I know, it's terrible. I, I, I hate it. I'd hate to say it. I'd hate to see it. But I think it's true. And that's probably one of the reasons why I wouldn't buy a 15 Pro, just because I'm so used to this higher resolution screen that I have right now. So here's a simulation of what a retina display would look like. Up above would be a normal display and down below is a retina display. As you can see, it's, it's crisper text, but you know what? I got a feeling that not a whole lot of people are going to notice it. So keep that in mind. And just because you have retina display does not mean that you have more working space. Here is the working space of a whole bunch of resolutions that I have here. And as you can see, going from the MacBook 11 Air to a 15 Pro, you have a whole lot more working space, but that does not increase when you do a retina display. But what a retina display does instead of increasing the resolution is actually decrease your battery life. So I have a feeling that Apple is just like they have ever since, you know, the beginning of the MacBook Pro line, increased battery life. And so what is the probability that the Retina display is going to make it to the MacBook Pro? Well, now moving on to ports. Now it is rumored that the new MacBook Pros are going to have USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt. Now, Here's the thing with it. Now, even though USB and Thunderbolt kind of go head to head against each other, I have a feeling that Apple is going to have to include it or else they're going to be behind the times. And it's rumored that the USB 3.0 is going to have three ports and two ports for the Thunderbolt. Now, I have a feeling that the FireWire 800 Ethernet and the optical drive is going to get axed. So keep that in mind. You're probably going to lose those in replacement with these two ports. So what's the probability of both of them, so three USB and two Thunderbolt happening? And what's the probability of at least one of them happening? Probably the two Thunderbolt. Moving on to storage. Oh, look at that. It looks like the hard disk drive got axed as well. Well, I, I do think it's going to get axed and replaced with SSDs. Now, SSDs are fast and they're getting cheaper. And right now, the maximum size that you can get is 512 gigabytes for like an insane amount of price. But if they were going to get rid of the hard disk drive, I would expect them to have a minimum of 256 and 512 gigs an SSD and that, that means minimum of 256 because for me at least on my 15 Pro it's kind of like a workhorse I can't work with anything less than 256 I just can't currently I have a 128 gig solid state and a 750 gig hard disk drive in my laptop both of them so I have I kind of have the best of both worlds and it seems like with such small space with SSD Apple is really going to have to push their Thunderbolt or USB storage options. And I am talking about hard disk drive Thunderbolt options that you can plug into your computer, which I have been looking at and they do sound really nice. And so what is the probability of storage as at least SSDs happening and hard disk drives di disappearing? Keep in mind that this probability rating that I, that I give is based on news that I've heard and what Apple, what I think Apple would do. So keep that in mind. And so we make it to the other stuff, CPU, GPU, and RAM. Now keep in mind that Sandy Bridge processor is expected to be the central, central processing, processing unit, unit of, of choice. choice. And 
that's good because that retina display is probably going to pull a whole lot of power from the battery and you're going to need this cpu to kind of you know equalize that and the gpu i have no idea ram i i think it's going to be four gigs though it'd be nice if it was six or eight i still think it's going to be four gigs all right well that's it for me guys thanks a lot for watching